our big blue planet. The safe haven of over 7 billion people living there. We humans can never do anything to Earth, right? Many studies collected all over the world may show that we are doing something very dangerous to this planet. Something that if left uncorrected could cause massive damage to the world. Global Warming's Effect on India by Neville Linden Global warming is the term used by scientists to describe the rapidly growing temperatures worldwide. Why is this happening? Scientists say this is caused by humans. The gases created by burning fossil fuels, such as oil and gasoline, are causing what is called the greenhouse effect, which is when the thick layers of gas, usually carbon dioxide, which are produced by the burning of fossil fuels, let light enter and exit the planet's atmosphere, but trap excess heat inside. This is the main cause of global warming, and over the last century, the gas has built up to become a real problem. How big could this possibly be? Well, the planet Venus is a prime example. Venus may seem pretty with its orange clouds, but these clouds are made up of a lot of different gases, one main one being carbon dioxide. There is also a trace of sulfuric acid, which is actual acid, you know, the stuff that melts other stuff. There is a reason Venus is about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if something is not done, Earth may start looking like Venus. You must be wondering, what does this have to do with India? Well. Global warming is causing many terrible disasters worldwide. And there are many things happening in India right now as I speak. India is a huge country in the sprawling continent of Asia. This massive country has a land area of about 1.2 million square miles and also has over 1.2 billion people living on it. That's almost as many people as China. Wow. One major consequence of global warming will be the Ganges River's depletion. The Ganges River is a sacred place of the Hindu religion and also provides water for hundreds of millions of people's crops and drinking needs. The problem is, a lot of the water comes from the Himalayan mountain glaciers. If global warming increases the world's temperatures and the glaciers melt faster, then there will be more water melting off of the glacier than is replaced by snowfalls. If the amount of water that the glaciers possess decreases, then over time, there will be not enough water for the river, which means more than 300 million people who depend on the river will have to relocate to find a new source. The other big problem is that the added heat caused by global warming can affect weather patterns, especially weather India depends on. This is the after effect of an Indian monsoon. It may seem like a violent and destructive storm, but it provides vital water for the agriculture in India. Monsoons are caused by the sun tilting and releasing heat on the land. The hot air then begins to rise and colder air carrying moisture replaces it. However, the air currents that make the monsoons possible are changing because of the increased heat and stopping the monsoons. This will mean millions of people who depend on monsoons will not have their water, both for drinking and farming, and will have to relocate. This creates what is known as a climate refugee. Because of global warming, many sheets of ice are melting and causing sea level rise. And many island nations are being swallowed by the rising seas. 
creating climate refugees. Sadly, unless global warming is stopped, India may have many climate refugees needing a new home. Thank you for watching!